standing out like sore thumbs in the Atlantic Basin. Things heating up in a hurry. Of course, the climatological peak took place September the 10th. And so it's uh, not too surprising that we're starting to see things heat up. Uh, there's category three hurricane Floyd with a very well-defined eye, even from this bird's eye view, very strong. And this is tropical storm Gert, which could become a hurricane. So we'll be watching both and I'll give you an update on both. But first, Hurricane Floyd. Here's the latest stats as of 11 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. That's the same as Atlantic Standard Time. It's 310 miles east-northeast of Grand Turk Island. Winds now up to 120 miles per hour. As of the 8 o'clock advisory in the morning, it was 115. So some increasing strength has been occurring and it could even get stronger. Moving toward the west at 12, due west right now. Perhaps a little north of due west, but notice still pretty far from from Florida, but we're hoping that it'll start taking that more westerly, northwesterly track. We'll be keeping an eye. But let's just take a look at uh, Hurricane Floyd. Now you'll notice the convection slightly more uh, ragged, the, the thunderstorms around the eye, slightly more ragged than it was. But according to our hurricane expert, Dr. Steve Lyons, this could uh, uh, regain that formity, that uh, symmetry as far as this central area of convection. Uh, the central dense overcast is what this whole thing is called, this area of yellow and red where some of the strongest storms and heavier rainfall is occurring, but definitely an eye, good outflow. But notice there's been a little bit of flatness at times on the last few images on the extreme western part of the, uh, the outflow. The outflow is the part where we have an upper level ridge and it's an evacuation of the air that's, that's rising. Uh, because of this trough, you'll notice a trough right here. It's a southwesterly wind, so some of that beginning to affect it. The question is, will this trough, as we look at the visible image, will this trough pick up uh, Hurricane Floyd and uh, shunt it toward the north, or at least more of a northwesterly direction? We'll be keeping our eye on it, but all the while, keep in mind that uh, tropical storm warnings are in effect for the southeastern Bahamas, uh, if you're watching us by satellite, or the, and the central Bahamas, a hurricane watch and this could very well be changed to a hurricane warning. The path, well, there's no certainty, especially this far out, but this is a possible path. This could very well follow, especially the central area, so we'll be keeping an eye on this. Of course, there's, this could have possibilities along the southeastern coast, but uh, we don't want to pinpoint any areas where we think landfall would be made if it, if it did occur because there's still a possibility of it not making landfall, but of course there's the possibility that it would make landfall. The best thing to do is prepare along the southeastern shoreline of uh, the U.S. Now here's a look at Tropical Storm Gert. Moving toward the west uh, was made a tropical storm as of the 11 o'clock advisory eastern time and is forecasted to become a hurricane. Right now it's a minimal tropical storm, winds of 40 miles per hour, 560 miles west of the Cape Verde Islands, moving toward the west at 20. So we'll be watching Tropical Storm Gert, and we'll see if it becomes a hurricane over the next few days. The Gulf of Mexico looking quiet as far as the tropics are concerned. And a new tropical storm is on its heels this afternoon.